Hello, I will be going over place values. As you can see, there is a place value chart drawn along with a number written. We have the numbers shown. We will now try to figure out what place they're located in and what value they produce based on where they're located. We have the number six. Its place is in the millions place. So we will write millions. The value of the six would be, we start off by writing the six. Now, after this, we do not write the rest of the number as is. We will replace the remaining digits after the six with zeros, and that is the value. The value is six million. Let's go to the seven. The seven is in the hundred thousands place. I will abbreviate it with HT. The value of this number will be seven, followed by zeros for the rest of the numbers that come after the seven. We have zero, zero, then we will not forget our comma, and we'll add three more zeros. This is 700,000. The number eight is in the 10,000th place. I will abbreviate it with TH. The value of the eight is 80,000. Now we will move on to the two. The two is in the thousands place, so I will write thousands. Now, the value of the two is two, we put a comma, and three zeros, which is two thousand. We have the number five next. It is in the hundreds place, so that is my place. That's what place it is in. Now, I will go to the value of the five. The 5 is 5, and there's only two digits after the 5, so we will replace both of them with zeros. The value is 500. The 4 is in the tenth place. I will write tens. And the 4 value is 4, and there's only one number left after that. I'll place that, replace that with a zero. And the value is 40. Lastly, we have the number 3. It is in the ones place. The value of this 3 is just 3. There is no number after the 3 for us to replace a 0 with. So the value is just 3. And this is how we figure out the place values for numbers based on looking at a place value chart.